was done. This is a photo of the Altiplano in Bolivia. Archaeologists and researchers found out that at least before 4,000 years there was happen a very big impact in Argentine and the shock wave of this big impact destroyed many stone buildings in the Altiplano of Bolivia. You have here a picture of Pumapunku, a very strange place close to Tiahuanaco in Bolivia. And you see tons of stone plates with perfect work on it, destroyed. Maybe this was the reaction to the big impact in Argentine. Here you have my friend Giancarlo Bonfanti, Italian researcher, in the center of the so-called Sun Gate in Diawanaco, in Bolivia. And some researchers write that the figurines on top of this side of the Sun Gate are showing the Venus calendar. Here you have one of the big stone plates from Pumapunku and you can see how perfect this stonework was done. And the question is, could you do such perfect work with simple tools? Close to this area, they found skeletons with a size of 2.6 meters. And the picture on the top shows you the skull of one of these skeletons and it looks like it is deformed but definitely these skulls are not deformed they are natural style like an egg on this photo you see how strong the jaw of those skulls were this is a front view and the most interesting photo is this one because you can see that the top of the skull does not have the three plates which we have as Homo sapiens and that shows us that these skeletons are not Homo sapiens. What we might be able is doing a DNA check and an age dating on these skeletons because we are very much wondering what kind of humans did exist long time ago and how long ago. On the next pictures I show you some artifacts found close by the real giants and when I first time got this mask in my hands I tried to look through the two eyes. At that time I didn't know that they were belonging to 2.6 meter skeletons and I was just wondering why did they make masks where you can only look out from one eye? But after knowing that those people were over 2.5 meters, I could imagine that their skull was, of course, bigger than our skull. And that's why these masks were for us oversized. That's another mask from Bolivia. Another one with very wonderful end carving many spirals and many symbols which we also found in many other cultures. This is a very heavy stone figurine and again here you can see on the top the head of a snake going down on his backside. This is the reverse side you can see again the snake. So that means the snake must have been a very, very important animal in the past of our history. Here you can see a stone flute. The strange thing is that the vibration of the sound of these stone flutes is exactly the same as our brain waves. So that means maybe those flutes were used for meditation or for healing purposes and each two holes are connected perfectly with each other. That means you can make perfect holes into this very, very hard stone, but how you connect with simple tools 
the two holes on the bottom. This would be, even in our days, a very difficult work to do. Because it's in the shape of a U and it curves round it inside is, the stone. That's right. And with simple tools, you are definitely not able to do such a work. And even the holes are very precise. This is the form of a boat and you have three flute pipes at the end. Here you can see how perfectly they were made. This is another flute, very small. You can use it only with very soft blowing and the sound is like the sound of the dolphins. This is an artifact where we do not have any idea for what purpose it was used. Now we are in Colombia.